Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we're going to look at uh, ladies dating profiles from 20 to 37 years old. Now, in this bracket, it's certainly diff way different than the than the older ladies we've looked at. Um, a lot of these gals are talking about how they're all that. Uh, they're talking about what they want from men. They don't talk about a lot of love and romance. And uh, let's just get into it. Before we get into the profiles, I wanted to share this article I found about, uh, well, about dating. And it says, uh, most young men are single. Most young women are not. And you read right here, more than 60% of young men are single, nearly twice the rate of unattached young women, signaling a larger breakdown in the social, romantic, and sexual life of the American male. Men in their 20s are more likely than women in their 20s to be romantically uninvolved, sexually dormant, and friend friendless and lonely. They stand in the vanguard of epidemic of declining marriage, sexuality, and relationships that affects all young Americans. We are in a crisis of connection, uh, the psychology professor said, disconnection from ourselves and disconnection from each other, and it's getting worse. She continues, women don't need to be in long-term relationships. They don't need to be married. They'd rather go to brunch with friends and have a horrible date. And you know, so of course this is a cop-out. I don't believe it's because of a horrible date. I believe because womanism is getting all the bedroom fun they want. And often it's when they're younger, they're like, I can just have hot girl summer through my damn twenties and thirties. And of course we've seen them pop out as you know, I've made a joke about it popping out like Bugs Bunny at Pismo Beach in their 40s going, okay, I'm ready to find a man. Of course, then the man that they could get in their 40s is gone. So yeah, that's really what's going on here. They just, so it has nothing to do with it. Of course, they, they draw ridiculous conclusions from this stuff. Um, not surprisingly, the decline in relationships uh, marches astride with a decline in sex. And of course, we've seen that study already that, you know, a lot of them, a lot of men right now are out of the sexual market because women are so hypergamous. They're like, well, I can just, you know, of course, they're, you know, the, the captain of the cheerleading team who used to date the captain of the, you know, the, the quarterback of the football team is now dating a Saudi prince. You know, they're getting hit up by raps, you know, rappers and things like that. They're like, well, I can go bag a guy like that. Why date the guy near me? Now, of course, not talking about all women, but there's a lot of that going on. The globalization of the dating market is really leading to a lot of women getting stars in their eyes. And of course, yeah, they get all the bedroom fun they want. They have, they party and stuff. And, it's it's bad it, you know it really we're looking at the data the pair bonding stuff is not, it's not great for them but uh that's what they're doing and uh okay i just want to share this article i will link it in the description let's get into the profiles so in dating delusions we always start with a great profile this is the great profile of the day she is 28 she's account executive you can see her right here she is absolutely beautiful she's kept in great shape she says about me i'm terrible at messaging back and forth if you're actually interested in me uh just ask me on a date man that's completely fair sure i mean we i have no problem She's kept in, like I said, when you're met, what men want, men fight over you to get you know, get relationships. She continues. Here's a nice little candid shot. She says, my third grade teacher describes me as being talkative. That's super cute, man. No list of requirements. It's so refreshing. <laughs> Nothing about that. She just lets the men come to her. And this is her final picture. And she's absolutely beautiful woman. I, this is a great picture. I don't know who she at, but you know, she's showing a little skin here. She's sultry. Uh, I mean, she obviously has no problem. And yeah, and could she probably date a Chad? Of course because she's very attractive. It's, it's totally fair if you're actually what men want. Man, we get a round of applause. <laughs> but that is a rare one. Let's get into the nonsense. So she's 24, it has nothing in her profile, but she just calls herself your queen. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a god. Yeah, and we've seen this all the time. Women calling themselves goddesses and queens. Of course, if you knew the channel, whenever a woman calls themselves a princess, goddess, queen, empress, and that crap, they're gonna get memed every time because it's ridiculous that they say this. Men don't ever put this in their profiles. I don't know one man has ever called himself, I'm a king or a prince or this crap, but they're getting fed by the media that they think they're all that. She even has, you know, you look at her anthem down the anti-hero by Taylor Swift, just red flags all over the place. <laughs> Just red flag stop we continue she's 29 says about me tired of playing games and being led on not looking for anything serious unless you are asshole cowboys are my type man we know exactly who you're talking about <laughs> Yep, she's still chasing Chad here with <laughs> likes her asshole <laughs> cowboy Chad here. <laughs> we've had we've had all kinds of flavors for Chad. There's another one. So she continues. 
FYI, if your profile says you're a good guy, you're probably not. Ma'am, I kind of agree with that. Exactly. Women shouldn't put that crap either. Completely agree. She continues, not looking to be rescued. Just need a drinking and cuddle buddy after, for after rodeos. Sorrel ponies, silver bits, margaritas, and music keep me going. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Man, what the hell are you, what, what's a silver bit? <laughs> sure. Then she continues, single mama, so you know, there's built-in trauma and my babies come first. Oh, Joy, she gave us the single mom starter pack and he also explained that she has trauma. <laughs> Man, we know, we, we all know that a lot of single moms have trauma. It's so very clear, ma'am. <laughs> she does seem kind of self-aware, so I'll, I'll give her credit for that. We continue. So she's 20 in EMT and says about me, on the lookout for somebody who knows how to work on German cars, Benz and Beamer, let's be friends. One million dollars. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm young, so just give me free things, boys. Yeah, wow. Who would ever take this deal? Like, awesome. Just all she's going to want. I mean, and ma'am, I mean, you do understand, ma'am, that if you have a guy come over to fix your car, okay, he's not going to do it for free. <laughs> I mean, have you thought of that? And also, have you also thought of when a woman exchanges, like, her private parts for, you know, guys doing stuff for them or giving them, you know, Finances, what that makes you? I just, just, just saying. Bruh. We continue. So she's also twenty and says, "Want to get me an ounce of bud?" One million dollars. <clears throat> well, and boys, you can see her up there. I mean, she's got no bra on in this sh his shirt. I mean, ma'am, are you? Uh, it, it, are all of you women of the night now? I mean, like, what the hell? She says she wants kids, but. Yeah, just what the hell why would you ever put this in your profile if this is all you want for men you just like you can't make this shit up <laughs> you can't make this shit up no ma'am no thank you did you so she's 20 in a canvas or whatever that means it says looking for something real wrong you get nothing you lose good day sir all men are real ma'am you're man shaming Tough crap, uh, you know, like there's guys who will give you relationships, but you probably aren't swiping them. You're probably just swiping on Chad and Chad won't give you relationships. That's probably what you're talking about here. Now, the funny part is too, she says she wants something real, but if you look down here, she says, I want something casual. And then, but then says, I want kids someday. Stop the cap. Man, you seem quite confused. He continues. She then says, we'll get along if you have at least three brain cells. Dude, I have daddy issues, and I don't like men. I don't trust them. Listen. I have PTSD. Ma'am, you keep choosing the men you keep matching with on this app because she's fairly attractive. She's actually quite attractive. So she's letting that naughty boy Chad and Tyrone come over and smash her. And then it's like, all men aren't real with me, and they don't have brain cells. No, you're matching with the hottest guys, ma'am. Now, she's still, you know, she's 22, so she's in her SMV peak, so she can absolutely choose from any man. But this is what happens with a lot of these women, gentlemen. They choose the wrong men it, when they're at their peak. And then of course, then they get to their forties and like, I've made it, have money and like, but I'm not as hot as I was. And then now I still want all those hot dudes. It's never gonna happen, ma'am. You have to make changes. I hope she gets help and fixes her daddy as you continue. So she's 22 and says about me, spiritualist and gives a bunch of emojis. We know what that means. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> she continues, plus size queen. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a god. It's never gonna get old, boys. Memeing them, just I just can't stop myself. She continues. Swipe the way you vote. Yes, really. My cat probably has a better mustache than you, ma'am. I have this for you. Then that's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Ma'am, what already happened to you? You're only 22. How could you already be this jaded? <laughs> you stop matching with that bad boy, Chad, who's way taller than you and just comes and pumps and dumps. Just this attitude already. I mean, geez, you kind of understand these older ladies with their trauma and drama that unresolved, but my God, ma'am, just and also, ma'am, if you're, you're 5'10", just go to the damn gym and stop eating bonbons. I mean, like you can just get fit. 
It's just, it's always on men. Continue. So she's 23 and says about me, homebody, gamer, and student. Okay, ma'am. Somebody who makes me want to leave my happy solitude, please. I mean, it's not really on men. Also, another woman with her, you know, boobs kind of out here and then wanting, you know, says a bunch of crap. She continues. No, I won't go to a bar with you the first time I meet you. <coughs> Ma'am, if you, if you find you don't have to. But I mean, also, that's, that's an easy way to start talking with someone. Of course, she probably wants to be whisked around the world, I'm guessing. I'm really bad at about being on here regularly, so apply pressure. <laughs> the bitch is crazy. <laughs> Wait, what if what if the guy pressures you to go to the bar and meet him for a drink? <laughs> Ma'am, I don't even know what you're talking about here. It's, just... it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Continue. So she is 37. This is about me. Looking for a Prince Charming in a world of fuckboys. Ma'am, we know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> And you can see she's this. That's a huge bitch. So ma'am, see, the problem is you keep matching with guys out of your price range. You keep matching with Chad and he keeps over coming over and pump and dumping. Ma'am, you should have been here. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Years ago. Now you're, you know, almost a 40 and you still want a family and you keep matching with guys that are, you know, that you find super hot. And that's the, because the only guys who are be calling F boys is Chad. She continues. If you're not local, don't bother. I'm only interested in one night stands. Wrong. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Ma'am, you're outing yourself. We all know, men know, when you meet that guy you're highly attracted to, you know, women break rules for men that they're highly attracted to and they give rules to men they're not. We know that you match with Chad. We know he pumps and dumps you. And that's why you're frustrated. Ma'am, you've got to get fit. If you want better dating success, you've got to get fit yourself, or you're going to have to date a guy that you don't give you all the tingles if you want a family. See, they don't get it. They don't understand that men control the relationship market. They control the bedroom fund market. Womanisms have given them all the bedroom fund they ever wanted, but they can't get the relationships they want with the guys they want. And this is why we continue. She's 31, says about me, living in the woods, run into town once a week, socialize with my puppy, dog park date. Okay, that's actually kind of sweet. I have no problem with that, she continues. I travel a lot for work in the cannabis industry, cultivation, mainly for licensed farms. Oh, well, ma'am, this doesn't sound good, she continues. Currently staying in Southern uh, Place. Tell me where the historic libraries, best hot spot springs, art museums, national parks, ramen spots are, please. How about new? Ma'am, it's not men's job to be your damn tour guide. You know, also, you, now you see her up here, she's got her, her, you know, she's just, her and her friend have their butt arched. Keep that in mind for her next part. Not looking to shag, perfectly content, masturbating forever and dying alone. Alice, obscure and chill. Holla, ma'am, I have this for you. See these ladies, boys, they sit there and they put, you know, post thirst trap pictures and like not looking to shag. Ma'am, you've talked about that all the weed you like to do and then talking about and then have your butt arched out at us and then saying not looking to shag. And then what if you are so happy being alone, then yeah, just do that then, ma'am. I mean, she's only 31 too, just so jaded. I just ma'am, you should be here. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Because you're past here. The ball, the ball. But I get it. You're having hot girl summer still. It's just very, very clear. And you know, it's it's gonna happen. You're gonna reach. You're, you're gonna get to the danger zone and be like, "Where's the man?" It's not gonna happen. Continue. So she's 28 and calls herself Jules and says about me, not interested in visitors. I'll probably only say hello because I have to message first, which is inconvenient. Oh, ma'am, poor you. Women are so lazy, the modern woman is so lazy, that they're like, I can't even message you first on this damn app. It's just too much work. <laughs> Get out of here with this crap, ma'am. She continues. Not looking to travel at the moment. Ma'am, you might be the only woman in the world who thinks this way. <laughs> <laughs> My God, there's still a hard summer who doesn't want to travel. Why can't they all... <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> 
You can't make this shit up. But she continues. I don't like hiking, sushi, birds, or girls named Jess. Ma'am, what the hell are you talking about? Who, <laughs> you hate birds and girls named Jess? Why did you have to put this on your dating profile? This is not your Facebook. This is not Reddit. Who gives a crap? It continues. I like coral pink things, James Joyce, and instant refunds. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Ma'am, you might need some help. Like, <laughs> for, for real. I don't know what you are talking about here. <laughs> we continue. So she's 35 and says, luxury life lover at my own and says, I live a luxury life of luxury. Please be willing to add to my lifestyle. Let's do dinner and go shopping. I'm 5'10 in flats. Follow my Instagram and say, hey. One million dollars. <throat> well, ma'am, uh, yeah, you're you're 35. I, a lot of, I mean, yeah, maybe if the guys in his 70s or 80s, he'd see you as something like sugar situation. But you get out of here with this crap, and I like to go shopping. Then go earn your own money and go shopping, ma'am, and don't rely on men. And you can see she does have travel down there, so you know exactly that meme I could play, but I won't. Anyway, we'll continue. So she's 33, and she is this. That's a huge bitch. And says about me, chasing dreams and raising my babies. Oh, joy, the single mom. Starter pack. Oh, she's not done. They let, let, let finish. My kids are my number one. Oh, she finished the single mom starter pack. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Someone in the comments actually uh, said today, he's like, did you did you invent that? I was like, yeah, I just came up with the, the single mom starter pack. So that is a, a dating delusions exclusive, the calling the when women talk about their dating profile, <laughs> it's the single mom starter pack. Anyway, continue. Uh, I'm not looking for wasted time. I, I'm, I'm not just here for a hookup. Yeah, you all say this, ma'am. I've got my shit together. I don't believe you, ma'am. <laughs> you're, you're a humongous woman. Why you don't have your shit together? Are you serious? She continues. I don't need anyone, but I want someone to share new adventures. And she has no uh, punctuation, by the way. New adventures with and make memories or ride or die or build a life together. If you don't know what you want, then I'm definitely not the one. I talk a lot, but I probably won't message you. First. This is the modern woman, gentlemen. She's a sing an overweight single mom who's gonna just man shame and talk about hookup. Ma'am, you have hooked up with Chad, we know this. No man in the world would expect that, we all know when that hot man comes over, you definitely get pumped and dumped. Okay, A, so that's why you're talking about wasted time. B, it's a huge deal for men to take on another man's children. And so you talking that you have your shit together, no, you don't. At least the other lady was like, I have trauma. She had misadmitted it. So, but coming on here and doing this is going to lead to this. That's why you will die alone and die alone. We continue. So she's 30, this is about me. Editor and educator, video games, cooking, theme parks, camping. Okay, this was actually fine until this part. If you have a decent camper trailer and don't snore, please take me on a trip. Here go. Stop. Stop it all. Yeah, it's all we're good for is to do stuff for these ladies. You just can't make this up, boys. This Profile after profile of these younger gals, like, yeah, do stuff for me, take me on trips, spend money on me. Ma'am, what is in it for the man? I, have you just thought about that? Like, why does he have to do this for you? I mean, just again, putting this expectation, it's fine once you're with, a, you know, a woman and to spend money on her and take her, you know, she's earned that, but it's earned, ma'am. You don't just get it. And then she's going to finish with, I'm only to meet for the first time in a public place. Sure, ma'am. But your bad attitude is just absolutely ridiculous with this crap. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? We continue. So this is the final one of the day. Uh, and another another very classic modern woman. She, so she is 21. Says about me, West African self-serving goddess. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a god. Let's take a step back. 
the the media is destroying these modern women, gentlemen. This is and this is the, especially these younger women because they really are. They're getting told they're all goddesses and queens and tens. We've seen you know three women alone on this 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 episode talking about the stuff we've talked about on the channel many many times. It's just ridiculous. Men are not being told they're kings and princes and and you know own the world, but women are. So they come on here. They have she's at only 21 years old, all talking about how they're you know just amazing. You know, it's just and yeah, I mean, of course, they're at their SMV peaks. They're getting all the attention they want, and they trans just tr translating that they can just wait and wait and wait and find the man of their dreams. Man, if you have hot girl summer through your 20s and 30s, and you try to and you know show up to near the danger zone in your late 30s and think you're going to get the same type of man, I'm here to tell you it's never going to happen, bruh. Because a guy who a guy who's similar, that's the problem. They then they want a guy around their own age who's also very attractive if they've stayed in shape. Now, if they haven't, of course, if they've gained a bunch of weight, they are delusional, completely delusional they're gonna find a guy. But that guy often will just go date younger women who before all this trauma and drama has happened. Women can't handle all the bedroom fun they're getting. They really can't, we've seen the data. So it's just terrible for you know both men and women, we continue. Royalty treatment only, building an empire, I love food, sci-fi books and movies. Okay, this is fine. I also enjoy painting, sewing, and nature. I'm not looking for anything specific, just seeing the kind of humans that are out there prefer meeting over text. Yeah, this was all fine, but you know, and you can see right here, she wants kids and something casual. Yeah, I'd see, this is just, it's gonna destroy these women. She continues. She then says, perfect first date, food, drinks, and dancing. If you can keep up or book thrifting, found out it's a great way to start a connection. <laughs> One million dollars. <throat> well, ma'am, it sure seems like it's a great way for you to get free things from men. <laughs> oh, hell no. And you, you know, the whole theme of today's episode, boys, you've seen it. Just they all think they're queens and goddesses and we should spend a bunch of money on them. Uh, ladies, I ask almost all of you, other than bedroom fun, what is in it for the man to do this? And that they think they all think they're their thing is just so damn important. It's not, you know, and this gentleman, you know, we, we've talked about this many, many times. You have to have an abundance mindset with these modern women. You just can't let them, you know, if they, if they earn chivalry and they earn this kind of thing, it's fine, but don't just start doing, you know, stuff for them because they will never take you seriously. They really won't. Anyway, I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. And thank you to all the new subscribers. We are now at 800 subscribers. I, I mean, honestly, in four months, I, I'm thrilled with this. We're near a thousand. I really appreciate you all for joining the channel. If you do have friends who haven't seen it yet, send it to them. I mean, I know it. Hopefully you get some laughs. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do it now. And if you like the video, give it a like. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.